What's up guys, it's your boy Nebula here, and today I'm going to be ranking these Lumians on, like, basically which ones are the best in this current meta, and what Lumians you should be using after this update. Well, you don't have to use them, but this is all opinion-based, by the way, so if you don't agree with me, don't get triggered or anything, because, like, this is just from my experiences in battle, and what I feel like is, like top tier pretty good above average average and just trash <laughs> so don't get mad if i place your favorite lumian in like trash or something i'm just sorry if i do that <laughs> well without further ado let's get into it so first we got av tries first i'm gonna put in pretty good this thing takes out tat tabs terror flies learns thunder crash can two shot luminami um with one sharpen which is pretty good as well as the ha with gives it rev up which pretty much makes it faster than every single lumian here besides gabademic but with the rev up it'll be faster than gabademic and zulong which is also pretty good it can two shot zulong i believe um it all depends on the ups of zulong but it has the potential to two shot zulong um does pretty good against valkyrie can two shot valkyrie with thunder crash with plus one sharpen pretty much one shots all the plants and yeah i mean florent i think it's i think gastro can actually survive actually no well a robust gastro can but no one uses that <laughs> all right so seer knight i'm gonna put it at pretty good this thing is also pretty good i mean this thing can body most of the lumians here um it can searing steel two shot luminami one shot florent Two shot Hember, especially with the switch in, you can survive a Yeti's Wrath and two shot Hember. Um, one shot you can one shot you can one shot you can one shot Gastroke. Um, doesn't do well with resilience against a resilience Opsy unless you set up a crap ton, then it wouldn't do good. Um, it's not good. In, um, I would switch out if you face against um a ground type because that'll just get bodied by it. So, yeah, Seer Knight, I think it's pretty good. Um, let's go to Borok. Borok, I think, is also pretty good. <laughs> Borok pretty much bodies... Well, it all depends on how you use Borok, because most people are just going to bring in Borok, just stay in the entire time until Borok dies, which will be pretty bad, because Borok can actually take out quite a bit of Lumions. It could take out um, Zulong... It does a crap ton of damage with Body Slam with Normal Essence and Brawny Nature. Like, it does a lot of damage. So, it pretty much can body almost everything here besides the things that um, that resist Normal. Which would be Obsidrugan, I believe. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But anyways, Brock is pretty good. Can one-shot um, Zulongs. And it actually has a... Um, Earthquake is super effective against Metal moves. So, it can also one-shot um crackaloa or not one shot but it can do a lot of damage to crackaloa eruptodon pretty much any fire type so let's go to duskit duskit i'm gonna be honest the thing is trash <laughs> no one uses it unless they final root spam or just spam peace of mind and end up getting one shot anyways um duskit really doesn't have anything going for it besides final roost and return to sender other than that it's pretty trash there's better options out there um, let's go to Florent. Florent, I'm gonna put above average, as it is doing pretty well in PvP. It still has a lot of weaknesses, such as, um, ice moves, which Hember can also learn. Um, Hember learns ice moves, as well as Zulong. Zulong can actually learn Chili Chomp now, which is very bad for it. Um, especially since Florent is mainly used to, like, stall out Lumions that aren't that good against it. Um, Zulong now being able to take florent out is pretty bad but it's still pretty good it does pretty well against most of these lumians here um a few exceptions obviously obstadrugon would just body it unless you get the sap plan off first then you can just stall battle but who knows dude luminami mm. i'm gonna be honest luminami kind of let my hopes down I'm not going to put that average since it is still pretty good, but it's above average. I mean, it can still, it can take out 
Falkyries, um, Hembers. I don't even think you can take out Hembers now, especially since people are running pure clever Hembers. So, I don't really know with Luminama anymore. We might just have to see in the future. Obsidugon, it can take out Obsidugons. Zulongs, it all depends, honestly, how you use it. Teclips just counters it, since Maroon does like nothing to it, and Teclips ends up doing more damage anyways. Um, and... That's really all I could say about Luminami, because it still gets two-shotted by Seer Knights. And it can't even two-shot a Seer Knight, so... Who knows, dude? Um, Terrafly. Terrafly is average. Terrafly literally does nothing except set up barbs and predicts switch-outs. And that ambush ability works. Other than that, Terrafly is not that good. I'm gonna be honest. That's my opinion. So... You can still run Terrafly for barbs. Like, that's still effective, but... Most people run Gavademic and just switch into that, or just get rid of the barbs through like Burn Up or Gust, and that really doesn't help it at all. So, Zulong, definitely top tier. <laughs> this man, Zulong, like, he literally, if you don't run a Zulong, you're most likely gonna get clapped by a Zulong. Because this thing, like, does so well against every single Lumion here just because of its speed and damage output. All besides, like, Kimber, obviously, like, the main counters, like, the ground types. But other than the ground type, Zulon can pretty much tank or take on anything here. Exception of a few Lumions, obviously, which we'll get into later. Vesperadu, I'm going to put it in... Mm, I mean, it did get a new ability, Sharp Claws, which is pretty good. Um... Uh, hmm... I'm going to put it in Average. It could be average or above average. I mean, it's still... I'd probably, like, put it in the middle. Mainly because it still has its flaws, which are um, still being able to get countered by light moves. And Teclips is a big counter to it. And Upsidragon is also another big counter to Vesperadu. Um, it can't really outspeed, like, the Lumions that counter it. So, such as Zulong, it, it'll just get bodied by Zulong. Upsidragon does, like, no damage to Upsidragon. Upsidragon could just two-shot it depending on what nature and set it's running, but... I mean, other than that, it can do pretty well against Tad Tabs and Luxors, since it is faster. And I believe it is faster than t Clips, but an HA t Clips would just body this thing, like it does nothing to it. So, yeah, let's go to Cinemoth. Cinemoth, I'm gonna put it average. I'm not gonna say it's trash. Well, actually... Might be that trash. I put it like in between average and trash because it's honestly not even that good. Like the only thing going for it is snor spores and that thing like misses all the time. So I'm not gonna get too much into Cinemoth. I just put it at trash. Valkyrie, I'm gonna put it at average, especially since with the new Metalumians that are now able to like do like Seer Knight learns Slap Down, Borok learns um, Earthquake, which can absolute like those two moves are super effective against it Hember also learns earthquake um teak lips bodies it however it, holy slash can save it but it all depends on how you use it and how you switch in um what else i mean falkyrie i just don't i just feel like zero Knight's just a better metal option in general to be honest i mean it can do a lot of damage and take out seer Knight, but We'll get into that later um, on better options than Falkyrie. Um, Hember. Hember, I'm going to put it at above average. Hember has been showing it's, like, it's doing pretty, like, it's doing pretty well, but not extremely well. Since it does have its flaws, it barely can do any damage. Like, it's mainly there just for tanking hits and taking out, um, what's it called? Fire-type Lumions and plant-types such as... Terrafly and Florent. Other than that, it doesn't really have much going for it, but it still is like it still tanks a lot of hits, which can make up for it. So I'd put Seer Knight above, um, not Seer Knight, Himber at above average. Um, Luxor, I'm gonna put at average, um, especially with the new T Clips evolution. Luxor is just average. It had a nerf, which um, decreased the decreased the amount of damage it does, which is pretty bad, but. You know, it's it's whatever. It's pretty average if you use it, but T Clips would just be overall a better option. 
Ragoon, I'm gonna put at average. Um, it's not really that good, other than the fact it can steal abilities and it's not that fast. Can't outspeed Luxor. Definitely can't outspeed Eclipse. I don't think it can at least. Um, it just doesn't have much going for it anymore. It had a lot of hype surrounding it. It's mainly just used for stealing abilities and hunting. Other than that, I just put out average. Swolder, trash. We don't even have to go into that. Tab tab. I'm going to put out pretty good. It can learn Wonder Herb and Poison now, which can benefit it a lot. It can take out Lumion such as Borok, um, uh, AV Trust, I believe. If it gets a crit, I think it can one shot AV Trust. Or maybe two shot. Especially with Quick Feet. Quick feet ability. If it does get status, um, it can definitely um, outspeed um, Lumion, such as AV Trust. And I think if Tatab can learn Stretch, I don't know if it does. If it learns Stretch, I definitely put it at pretty good because it can outspeed AV Trusses and stuff like that. Um, still, like it does, like it, I don't. I'm not gonna say it does good against Zulongs. However, if you use Jungle Jitsu and a Zulong swaps into your Tatab. That Zulong's dead. Like, it's gonna get two-shotted. Like, you're gonna hit him once he swaps in, and then he's pretty much one-shot, and you can survive a hit from Elemental Burst. So, I mean, Tatav is pretty good. Can take out Luminami pretty well. Um, it's a good Himber counter, especially since Himber doesn't have that much um, attack anymore. People are running, like, straight-up, just pure, clever defensive sets, which is honestly not the smartest move. If you don't have any attack on Himber, because it it's literally won't do anything to Tatab. So Tatab, I'm gonna put up pretty good. It's it's pretty good. Um, you should definitely at least consider having one on your team. Umbrat, I'm gonna put at average, mainly for the same reason as Luxor. T Clips is overall better option. It can absorb light and dark type moves. Um, Chartiki, I'm gonna put at trash. <laughs> I, I rarely see anyone use Chartiki, mainly because it just has, like, there's better options out there, like Seer Knight. No one wants to run another Fire Plant or Fire Ancient, whatever it is. It's not that good. Um, Eruptodon, I'm gonna put that above average. Eruptodon can burn up, which can get rid of barbs. It can also, um, learn Stretch, which can, can make it outspeed things. It has a lot, it can do a lot of damage with its end ability. Um... With Stretch also and Nimble, it should be out, able to outspeed a lot of Lumions that can threaten it, such as Tatab. Um, that's pretty good. What else? It can also take care of... I believe it can take care of T-Clips. I don't know. With Stretch, I think it can. But we don't know especially if you get that burn up off though like your erupted is gonna be doing serious damage and it can learn the mud spatter which able which it allows it to um, take out lumion such as um pretty much any metal so like seer knight um valkyrie zulong any lumion that's weak to earth so that's pretty good for erupted that's a good move for it to learn especially with the burn up you can increase the damage on that too pretty good overall gas stroke i'm gonna put at um, I would say average, but it's not like it's trash anymore. Like, Gashrook is still usable. Um, it can learn Poison. I don't know if it can learn Wonder Herb, which is why I don't know if I should place it at average or above average, but it's still pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's at the A, A tier. I'd put it at B. Like, it's not trash, but it's also not the best. Like, there's... Like, people are running different team comps, which can counter it pretty well. Um, and, yeah, I mean, Gastroke, above average. It's pretty decent. Other than that, let's go on to Crackle. Uh, I think that's his name, at least. Um, Crackaloa. Okay, this thing, most of you guys expected it to go on trash, but I'm going to be honest. This thing actually, surprisingly, can tank hits well. Can do a lot of damage and learns Mud Spatter, which also benefits it. Seer Knight literally can't do anything to this thing. I'll tell you right now, Seer Knight does nothing to it. Unless Slap Down, then whatever, that's a given. But other than Slap Down, Seer Knight does like no damage to this thing. And since Crack Low can learn Mud Spatter, um, that gives it a, a huge advantage against um, Lumion, such as. 
uh, Falkyrie and Seer Knight, which is pretty good, considering that's only a fire type and it's not that fast. However, it does learn much better, and much better does help a lot in battles. Obsidragon. I'm gonna put that pretty good. I mean, Obsidragon, it is really good. It can add alert, pure clever, can tank pretty much anything in the game. Um, especially when you get the resilience boost up, it's pretty much unbeatable. And if you get the power cuffs and everything, it learns Primal Slash and Earthquake. So it can get rid of Seer Knight pretty easily, gets rid of Zulong pretty easily, if used correctly. Primal Slash would be a better option though for Zulong. Um, it can get rid of fire types, pretty much any fire type in the game. And can tank a lot of hits, as well as Beast Slumber, which carries it a lot. Um, the health amulet as well helps the recovery, and it has high defenses, surprisingly, which is pretty good. However, you don't want to send it out against the light types, unless you predict the Falkyrie switch in. You can Earthquake and get some chip damage off of it, but I wouldn't stay in. Um, T-Clips pretty much bodies it. Luxor bodies it. Falkyrie bodies it. Um, Luminami bodies it. And we'll get into some more Lumines later that can also pose a threat to Upsidragon. Next is Seti Mars. Okay, so Seti Mars. I'm gonna put it at average. It's not that used anymore. It's basically a weaker version of Borok. Like, I'm not gonna say it's weaker, but like its stats just aren't as good as Borok's and it, its ability doesn't really help it at all since its accuracy gets lowered. But, you know, it's whatever. Dude. Next, we got Shao Chi. Shao Chi, I'm gonna put at above average. Since Shao Chi now gets a move that can help benefit it in range attack, and that's pretty good for Shao Chi actually, because its range attack is now increased, and it can do a lot of damage and pretty much wipe out any Lumion. It learns Peace of Mind too, which can help boost its defenses, which is really good for it in the long run, especially in late cleanup game. Shao Chi is pretty good. The only thing holding it back right now is its ability. Its ability right now is glitched, so it's not guaranteed to hit since it's glitched, and you know, it's whatever, dude. Next is Ventasheen. Trash. <laughs> I'm gonna just put the Lumions at trash. I don't really want to go over it. Ventasheen is not that good anymore. No one should use it. Vokaloa doesn't do that much damage. I've already tested it. Surprisingly, it doesn't do that much damage. Next, we got Wiki Wiki. I'm gonna put it at average since Wonder Herb. However, Florent would just be an overall better option. Um, Ikazune, trash. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a fan of Ikazune. It's HA is worse than its actual ability, which is pretty sad. I'm gonna be honest, it is pretty sad. But, you know, it's whatever. It'll get better in the future as the metagame changes. For now, I'm gonna put that trash. Revenine, and no, it got a new ability, Flame Breath, but. It's still pretty trash. I mean, it's typing it just doesn't help it at all. And, you know, I mean, it's whatever, dude. But, um, for now, I'm gonna just put that trash. We'll see later, because I haven't seen it been used much. But for now, I'm gonna put that trash. It can go up to average. Trash or average, I'd put it at. Your soul, trash. I just, it's just not that good <laughs> in general. Gobademic, average, I think it's like in the same boat as Terrafly, mainly just used for poisoning and just doing chip damage and late game clean up, clean up, but other than that, I wouldn't really run it as like a, oh, I'm going to take you out. I mean, it's a good tat tap counter, which is pretty good for it, but that's all it really has going for it. Um, T-Clips, T-Clips, I'm going to put it at top tier. This thing can absorb light and dark type moves, as well as do a lot of damage with its um, Gluminous Roar, surprisingly. Um, I'm going to put it at S tier. It can take out Zulongs, Upsidragons, hits through Scapegoats, which is pretty good. It can take out Tad Tabs. Um, pretty much any Lumion here it can take out. You just have to use it wisely and make the right decisions. Mutoon, I'm gonna put top tier. This thing can pretty much two shot anything in the game <laughs> besides Hember and Borok 
and well actually i think it can still two shot borok all i know is that ground resist it but it still is does a lot of damage dude it has 134 i believe range attack like that's insane pretty much can take out a lot of things dude like it's just overall a good lumion like top tier for sure um you should definitely like consider looking into getting one same with trumbull trumbull does a lot of melee attack <laughs> like he does a lot of damage dude like these two right here they have pretty decent defenses and their attacks are just insane like they do so much damage with Trumbull, you can set up with Battle Horn, get rid of any status, and like increase your melee defense and rate and melee attack, which is pretty good. Um, can take out Borox, and just overall, it's just good, dude. Like, should definitely consider looking into these two Lumions. Um, pretty much all these four Lumions, you're pretty much guaranteed to see them on at least one of them on a team. Um, just because the sole fact that they're just really good and yeah i mean that's it for this list this is all opinion based by the way guys this is my opinion on lumion so don't get mad at me if i said something wrong or like you don't agree with me obviously i'm willing to change my opinion just let me know down in the comments on why you think a lumion should be in a higher slot or a lower slot than it should be in but other than that i'm out peace